This picture of some Daphne High School cheerleaders posing with a t-shirt that reads, I love redneck boys, with the Confederate flag designed into the shape of a heart, is what Reagan Coleman and her mother Letitia say reminds them of a dark time in American history. Immediately see hate, that's we were oppressed with that flag. They used it when they burned crosses in our ancestors yard. That flag was railed around on horses. So you cannot say that there's two sides to that flag. I don't know what history you're reading, but if you read the U.S. history, then it tells you exactly what that flag stands for and what it means, especially to African Americans. Letitia says she spoke with school administrators about the situation. As I started getting such vague answers, everybody was almost like they were reading a script when they spoke with me about it. About two weeks later, they say everyone showed up for the first day of practice as if nothing happened. That's when Reagan says she immediately quit the team. I will never let my love or passion for something get in the way with my self-respect. As only one of two black cheerleaders on the team, Reagan says this isn't the first instance of racism. This Instagram video recently resurfaced of one of the cheerleaders dropping the N-word during basketball season. And here's a screenshot of a cheerleader calling a classmate the N-word in a Snapchat message. Baldwin County Public Schools says in a statement they are aware of the situation and it's been handled at the local school level. However, Reagan says with no apology from the girls involved or their parents and their spots on the team still intact, it shows that the school district didn't go far enough. A petition calling for the girls' removal from the team has nearly 1,000 signatures. I feel like we're at a time where black voices are being heard, we're being felt, we're being seen. So I knew this couldn't just go unheard about. Like I knew I needed to share the story, not for me, not because of how I felt about the picture, because, but because of like um, the other black children that may be silenced by white administrations like this. I've reached out to some of the parents of the girls in the picture and did not hear back, but one mother is publicly voicing support on Facebook of her daughter posing with the shirt. Amanda DeVoe, WKRG News 5.